in my blog last minute cheat sheet for GCPPCA exam. I list four decision trees to help you to choose the right service for the questions in the exam. Today, let's work through the first one, Cloud Network Connections Decision Tree. Google provides Cloud VPN, Cloud Interconnect, and Cloud Peering for Cloud Network Connections. Cloud VPN and Cloud Interconnect are the Google Cloud products for Cloud Network connectivity between your on-premise network and Google Cloud, or from Google Cloud to another cloud provider. Cloud Peering is the option for connecting Google G Suite and Google APIs. Let's take a look at these products. If you need a private-to-private -private connectivity, then Cloud VPN is the best choice. Cloud VPN securely connects your peer network to your VPC network through the IPsec VPN connection. Traffic traveling between the two networks is encrypted by one VPN gateway and then decrypted by the other VPN gateway. This protects your data as it travels over the internet. You can also connect two instances of Cloud VPN to each other. Each Cloud VPN tunnel can support up to three gigabytes per second, total for the ingress and egress. Cloud VPN supports IKE V1 and IKE V2 using the shared secret. Google Cloud offers two types of Cloud VPN gateways, HA VPN and Classic VPN. Here is the comparison table between HA VPN and the Classic VPN. Pay attention to SLA and routing options supported features. Both offer 99.99% .99 SLA. HA VPN supports only dynamic routing with BGP Broad Gateway Protocol, but a classic VPN can support either static and dynamic routing use BPG. You can configure HA VPN for more bandwidth. It is mentioned in the Google document, documentation with the example on how to configure HA VPN gateway with the 10 Gbps throughput. You can configure one cloud router for HA VPN gateways with the two tunnels apiece for a total of eight VPN tunnels in eight total BGP sessions. Now let's move to the second cloud network connection option, Cloud Interconnect. If you need an enterprise grade connection to Google Cloud that has a higher throughput, you can choose Dedicated Interconnect, which creates a dedicated connection or partner interconnect which use a service provider to connect to VPC networks. Here is the comparison table between dedicated interconnect and partner interconnect. Pay attention to features. Uh, you can see the interconnect options are not through the public internet. Uh, supported bandwidth Dedicated interconnect have a maximum of a time 10 Gbps or two time 100 Gbps. Partner interconnect only has the supported bandwidth with the capacities of 50 Mbps to 50 Gbps for each interconnect attachment. The BGP configuration is set up between your on-premise routers and the cloud routers. 
The encryption is on application level encryption, which is different than what we see in the cloud VPN. The last cloud network connection option is cloud peering. If you needed to access only G Suite or supported Google APIs, you have to connect through the cloud peering. Peering doesn't produce any customer routes in a VPC network. Traffic sent from a resource in a VPC network lives by way of a route whose next hub is either a default internet gateway, uh, for example, a default route, or cloud VPN tunnel. There are two peering options, direct peering and a carrier peering. Direct peering enables you to directly connect with the Google Cloud at a Google agent location. Carrier peering enables you to peer with the Google by connecting through a support provider, which in turn peers with the Google. Both products give you access only to G Suite and supported APIs and don't provide access to VPC networks and VMs in Google Cloud. With all the above overview on GCP Cloud Network Connections products, let's move to the decision tree. Now, it's time to use the decision tree to choose the network connection product to connect your applications to Google Cloud. You may want to ask a simple questions such as, do you need to access a private compute resource on GCP? Do the bandwidth and performance of your current connection to the Google servers currently meet your business requirements? Do you encrypt sensitive information at the application level? Do you already have or are you willing to install and manage access and routing equipment in one of Google's point of presence pub locations? So understanding exactly what you need from the network connectivity is just as important as understanding what each of the cloud network connection products does best. Please check out my other GCP decision trees videos and my blog for more help. Thanks for watching. And as always, subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips.